beginning, I didn't know what to call myself. I think the operative word was the handicap. It was a term I never wanted to have applied to me. So I started saying I'm a disabled woman, putting it front, disability front. It's, you know, it's up there, it's out there. The film is about my life as a, you know, primarily focusing on my life as a disabled woman, although we go back to my childhood and look uh, at various points in my life. And I am a New York City kid, grew up here, and New York is so much in my bones that it's hard to make a film that's about me without it also being about my life in New York. And one of the things that that I think we've accomplished with the film is that it's not only a personal narrative, but it uses my story as a point of entry to tell the larger historical narrative of the growth of the disability rights movement over, that I've witnessed over the last 40 years. That you've helped create. Well, that's the fact. I've had a, I've had <laughs> a role. In that. <laughs> Uh, the change has been dramatic. I use New York City public buses going everywhere and one of the things we have done in the film is to show me on the bus and using the bus. I don't use the subway because... Because we're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> and the other thing that the film shows is that I was a plaintiff in, in the suit against the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission uh, suing the TLC and the city for discrimination. And what are some of the other changes that the city, you've seen in the city over time, um, addressing accessibility? We went to Columbia University's campus to maneuver uh, the steps up to uh, Butler Library. You need to take either an elevator through a building, uh, which nobody knows where the elevator is, or you have to bus for a security guard and wait till he unlocks the elevator where the garbage bins are being brought up and down. I was a student at Columbia in 1977, and while they've made concerted, some concerted efforts and made some changes, what we saw when we were shooting on campus is many of the routes that I was relegated to as an undergraduate in 1977 are still the routes that we would have to take uh, today to get from one place to another. When you're describing where the elevator is and it's near this and in the garbage cans and everything, it makes me think about, you know, no Jews allowed, no blacks allowed, you know what I mean? Stuff like that where people really have to take a moment and say, that's still, hap that's still happening. Mm -hmm. And the signs aren't up that say, go you, this way. You All right. can't. The signs aren't up that say no. <laughs> <laughs> but the signs, yeah. if you know how to read them, are everywhere. <laughs> the Mead Festival historically is an ethnographic film festival, an anthropology film festival, and yet it pursues and has increasingly over recent decades pursued this idea that cultural entities don't have to be bound to a geographic place, and the idea that uh, disability is a culture is something very much that we explore in the film. And the culture uh, of my people, of, of my community, is very much alive in the film and it's one of the, uh, you know, the strong points and something that Christian and I agreed on from early on, that this was not a biopic. Uh, this was about a community and about ideas and so forth. There's quite a bit of work to be done right. making disability visible mm -hmm. to all of us out there who are not, who are, do not see it for what it is. And the Margaret Mead is helping make that happen mm -hmm. in New York City, mm -hmm. Museum of Natural History. Yeah. So hopefully New York will continue and even more step up yep. as it needs to, mm -hmm. to make the disabled community yeah. a, part of the, a part of the conversation yeah. as it changes.